This is what I look like. Hello, so I have now decided to do a face reveal, but will I look like what y'all expected? We shall see. Three, two, one. This is what I look like. I'm just 20. You're, You're 20? 20? Yes, I am 20. And I'm, I, I'm doing YouTube. I have multiple YouTube channels. But it is like 
the lifestyle slash like fun it's basically just about me this this channel actually honestly i just kind of want to document my life throughout like my 20s for now that's the goal as i turned 21 this year in october the year of 2022 i'm gonna turn 21 so i'm gonna be <laughs> only all drinking age if you know what i'm saying i might show my face more because i feel like i i just feel like talking to the camera i dropped out of college <sighs> i guess i'll just tell you my story or whatever <laughs> So basically, I dropped out of college because I simply could not keep up. Apart from not being able to keep up, I'm also not able to afford it. And I think I'm just too busy doing just like, I don't know if you can relate, but like as a like Hispanic woman from a family of Mexicans and of first generation American, I kind of have a lot to do in terms of household things and just like taking care of the house because unfortunately my mother passed away in 2019 so now i've been sort of like running things around the house that she would have normally have taken care of and i've been doing that so yeah that's just what my story is and just yeah and i feel like if i'm at home anyways i might as well just like film it because i feel like it'd be fun to document because i do have like other things that i'm doing it's just a lot of like online stuff that i've been wanting to try that i've been wanting to do and i'm finally gonna do it and so yeah i'm excited for this new chapter in my life honestly i've, I've kind of stopped doing youtube for a little bit around like it's not that long ago it was like late last year i stopped like posting but that's because i did recently post a new video but that was a little bit ago so uh, this is kind of late but basically i'm just gonna be posting more of my face and just like showing more of like me and more of like my brother for now but we'll see where this goes and how comfortable i get so the reason why i wanted to show my face because i just felt like it i felt like i was getting a lot of signs that i should try i'm into tarot and i'm very spiritual and so i kept getting tarot readings talking about how i should take a leap of faith and do everything that i've wanted to try and that's exactly what i'm doing i have this channel i have a gaming channel and yeah there's there's a lot of things that i want to try doing um that i want to give a try and so i'm gonna try it and if i enjoy it then i'm gonna continue and if it goes well then i'm gonna continue even more because it'll be fun i'm excited for this new chapter and whoever wants to come along it for the ride i'll be grateful that you are interested okay, i'm kind of nervous because like i know i'm gonna post this this time i've done this so many times i've just been too i just haven't had the courage to do it i feel like back when i was trying to film this type of thing where i would like show my face i just wasn't really ready for it like mentally losing someone is kind of hard to get back to a normal life and i was having like a lot of mental health issues that i just I wasn't even able to do anything like not even get out of bed i wasn't even able to do anything i didn't go for a doctor for it so i'm not gonna diagnose myself but like i feel like it was the big d word depression i think like it was that but i don't know like, i haven't actually gotten to see a doctor so i'm not gonna diagnose myself but i feel like that's what it was i feel like there's no other word for what i was going through in that time so that's what i wanted to say this is just a little reintroduction to me and my channel i think i'm just slowly integrate myself into the videos slowly i maybe make like separate videos where i'm just like with me and my brother sorry there's like an ant crawling on the wall i wanted to show this book that i'm reading that i actually really like and that is from a japanese author that i think y'all should read because you know i'm about that <laughs> reading life <laughs> I gotta at least read because I'm not in college, so I got I gotta at least read something. It's called No Longer Human. No Longer Human by Osamu Dazai. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's it's like um he has like a very like I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like depression. <laughs> Here, look, let me read the back. 
maybe maybe then you could understand okay mine has been a life of much shame i can't even guess myself what it must be to live the life of a human being so it's like basically like he's like he sees other people as like humans but he doesn't see himself as that he's he feels like an outcast in a world of humans or something like that it's like very realistic it's not like a fantasy or anything it's just like very realistic portraying himself as a failure the protagonist of osamu dazai's no longer human narrates a seemingly normal life even while he feels himself incapable of understanding human beings oba yozo's attempts to reconcile himself to the world around him begin in early childhood continue through high school where he becomes a clown to mask his alienation and eventually lead to a failed suicide attempt as an adult without sentimentality he records the casual cruelties of life and its fleeting moments of human connection and tenderness semi-autobiographical no longer human is the final completed work of one of japan's most important writers osamu dazai 1909 to 1948 the novel has come to echo sentiments of youth from post-war japan to the post-modern society of technology still one of the 10 best-selling books in japan um no longer human is a powerful exploration of an individual's alienation from society i feel like reading stories about how other people view life or how other people just see life i think it's very interesting i don't know i don't really know my thoughts quite yet i'm like halfway through the book i'm like on page 66 of like 170 so i'm not even halfway through i'm like what was i trying to say? look i'm terrible at this i'm terrible at this oh my god but yeah i think it's really good so far so you should definitely read it um, it was like 15 dollars you got any change. you could definitely try reading it it's pretty interesting Anyways, let's change the clip. Right now, it is approximately 1 a.m. It's like, it's actually, it is 9.33 on a Tuesday, and I'm gonna edit. Um, but yeah, bye. Thursday. I didn't end up doing everything that I said I was gonna do on Wednesday and so now I'm gonna push it back. I don't know what's wrong with me, okay? Like, look. Today, I slept the whole entire day. The whole day. I literally slept fine last night because I went to sleep early and I woke up at 7 and then I went to sleep again and I didn't wake up until, well now it's like 2. I woke up at 1. And so I've been asleep this whole time. I don't know what's occurred. I don't know what's going on. I think today I'm gonna just reset myself. Cause what happens when your phone don't work or when your computer don't work, you gotta hard shut it down and then you gotta turn it back on. And I'm gonna just do the same to myself. Today I'm gonna go to the park and I'm gonna just touch some grass or something cause there's something around me today. Today I'm gonna just buy some stuff cause I wanna get this book that I hear everybody talking about called atomic habits but that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna do editing today but i'm gonna just do it at home because so yesterday what did i do yesterday absolutely nothing yesterday i also slept all day i don't know actually why i'm like this but i didn't get up this whole day and so i need to get up and like do something or something i don't know i just need to take care of myself like there's I think I was just tired today. I don't know why. It's not like I'm doing anything important. I just take care of myself and my brother. It's not like it's hard. But yeah, I think I'm gonna hop in the shower and... I showered and I straightened my hair. Because I want to take pictures on Instagram. I don't take a lot of pictures on there, to be honest. So I might just do my makeup or something. I don't know yet. Don't ask me. I'm telling you guys, I just be making shit up. Every day. It's 4 p.m. Did I say that? I'm about to do some at home stuff i might come back when my clothes is dried um but yeah bye